Fam money music. Fam money music. Fam money music. What's going on, everybody? Hope you are having a blessed day. Shout out to the MVPs, the best supporters in YouTube community, hands down. Today we're gonna go over an insane stub method where you can get free packs over and over and over and sell the cards out of them packs for 3,000 to 12,000 stubs. Also, we're gonna go over how you can work the market. Every few days, I'm gonna give you an update on what cards, collectibles, stadiums are the hottest topic right now. But if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. New merchandise is coming very, very soon. Roll to 9K, roll to 10K, hit that red subscribe button, and let's get into today's banger. AHMLB is having a crazy sale, 20% off, plus if you use cold fat, another 5% and finish collection. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go over is the Nation of Baseball Challenge in the Conquest. Go to single player, and you can do this repeatable. They just updated it recently, so now when you go into these, instead of you choosing one player, now in every pack you get five players. Five players in every pack, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 different players. That's all going for 3,000 up to 10 or 12,000, depending on if you sell today, once you get these done, or if you hold them until the next collection comes around the next inning, and they will go up to 10, 12, K. Now, once this gets out there, more people gonna know about it, they're gonna keep the prices down, but it's a guaranteed profit just from playing the game, and you can super fracture a lot of your players playing on rookie difficulty. This old Atlanta under the stadiums has been flying for me right now. You can see, I'm down to 244,000 stubs. I went back last night and invested about 80 to 90,000 worth of stubs back into the George Springers, the Galagos, the cards that I mentioned in the video that you need to pick up. This time around, in two weeks when the roster update comes, I wanna be able to make a bigger profit margin. Old Atlanta, you can see that's over a thousand gap. Once you take the 10% off, that's gonna put you to between 600 and 700 stubs. So we can go in right now. Always do a buy order and a sell order. Only quick sell if it's near the roster update and you wanna get the guaranteed stubs. So right here, I would do a buy order. Since it's a stadium, 2901 is the lowest. I will go 2905 or 06 just to make them want to sell it to me easier. Now, while you are on the market flipping stubs, turn on your favorite YouTuber, watch a Netflix video because you're going to have to put in 15 to 20 minutes because some cards or stadiums move a little slower. Now, Closer to the roster update or when any new content drops in the game, everything moves super fast. But right now, if you buy these, get them two to three at a time. If you start putting in five and six orders, it's gonna be people that's jumping over you and where you can see sellable at is gonna start getting higher and higher. People are gonna start undercutting you, overcutting you and all that good stuff. So 2906 is the highest one that's up right now. So if I sell it, I'm gonna easily be able to make 600 stubs every single time. For today, between Old Atlanta and Griffith Stadium, if you can get five of each of them, you can make yourself a quick eight to 12,000 stubs in about 20 minutes. Griffith Stadium, Old Atlanta is the ones that's been having the biggest gap. Sometimes the gap shorten, but within 10 to 15 minutes, the gap opens back up. There you go, buy order at the top for Old Atlanta completed, okay? So once you see that at the top, you back out, go to stadiums again, you go right to Old Atlanta, then you do a sale order. Make sure you in sale order and don't quick sell it. Go to create sale order and then now make it so they wanna buy it because you're gonna be guaranteed to get your 600 plus stubs. So we're gonna go to 4,196. Give them a little gap between 4,200. We'll do that 3,776. So we're gonna post that. So now that is the cheapest one up. You can see over there to the left, it says 4,200. Is I got the 4,196. So I'm wiggling it in their face, making it more easier for them to want to buy it because they're going to try to raise the price on it and sell it for a little higher once the price keeps fluctuating. So while you waiting on that, just come into the filter, go to 83 and 84 overalls. This is going to be the biggest gap and you're just waiting for somebody to make a mistake on the market. I guarantee if you have a little bit of patience, you will find a good profit. This one right here, Stanton. 
he has about an 800 gap in between. So you take the 300 off the top, that's 500 stubs every single time. So once you go down here, this one, Ozzy Orbis, he's up to 5,000 again. So that's a 900 gap. But when you take the 500 off the top, that's only about 400 profit. So at the top right there, you can see sale order for Old Atlanta completed. That was an easy 600 to 750 stubs right there. So you want to go between Stanton, Springer for today, and Old Atlanta in the other stadium. If you do all four of them back and forth and you give yourself about 25 to 45 minutes, you will easily make 15 to 35,000 stubs if you are a little patient. Turn on a Netflix video, drop a like on this video, make sure you're watching my videos, go through the entire playlist, watch all the videos, all the advertisements, help your boy out, man. Roll the 9K, we got another giveaway. We did a giveaway yesterday. We got another PlayStation card just hanging out randomly. Hey, I might pick one of y'all comments out there. Every video should be over 50 likes. If we get 50 views, we should be having 50 likes. Don't be a hater your whole life. If y'all enjoyed the video, go take care of the conquest, get them free packs, hold the cards if you want to, or you can sell them. I did the tops now moments. I took all them cards. I'm holding them. Once they go up in price a little bit, if I can get at least seven to ten thousand for them, I'm gonna start selling off the tops now card. Depending on what the new player program is looking like, and that's an easy way for you to get stubs. Get on the market. Flip the couple players that I told you. Go to the stadiums. Flip them, and make sure you are following this channel for investments, and you will be a stub millionaire. It's all love. If y'all rocking with me, you know why. You live, motherfucker, no lie. No lie. They hate, you know why. Cause we own, own fire. Own fire. Own fire. Own fire. Own fire. Own fire. They hate, you know why. Cause we own.